Vernon inbounds following the timeout. Cotton and Carabello in the backcourt. Nice feed inside. Can Vernon uh, convert? They cannot, but an offensive rebound and a putback by number 21. 320 to go, 38-22, Knights in the lead. Nice find by O'Shea, Carabello takes a baseline. Bounce pass, just a little bit to the left of Natalie, goes out of bounds, Vernon has it. Steal by Carabello, tips it over to Morin. Morin with a beautiful find, Morin gets an assist, O'Shea gets a bucket. There's a tip away by Moreland. On the floor, O'Shea deflects it out. Carabello, Carabello finds Cotton. Cotton takes it to the rack. Carabello gets the assist, but you gotta give credit to O'Shea and Morin as well on that play. That was a total team effort. Nice bounce pass inside, but O'Shea is there. Forces a miss. A wild shot, somehow 23 got it to go down. 42 to 24, 229 to go in the half. Come on, life is smart. Warren pass inside to O'Shea is picked off. Warren gets back down on the floor. Vernon has it. Number 12 gets too deep. Throws it up off the bottom of the rim and the Knights have it. 205 to go. 42 24. Carabello from three. Swoosh. Call Roto Rooter, that's the name, and he'll knock that bucket down the drain, does Carabello for 45-24 lead. Carabello with 15 points. Skyler Cotton with a personal foul on that. That'll be, I believe, his second. We'll wait for the official score. It is, in fact, the second. That's nine team fouls. Bonus situation for Vernon. 23 will shoot one. See if he can earn himself a second. First one is no good. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. The score remains 45-24. Nothing there, so Morin pulls it back out. Gets it to O'Shea. Back to Morin, cross court to Cotton. There's a look from Carabello. That's just a little bit off to the right. Tipped out of bounds by Morin. Vernon will have it. They trail by 21 okay. with 134 on the clock. Unforced error by Vernon. Watson's pass for, intended for Morn was almost picked off, but it goes out of bounds. Come on, guys. Let's go, come on. Come on. 124 on the clock. Arabella swings it back to Cotson. Cotson over to Morin. Morin back to Cotson. Back to Morin. That pass is just a little bit off. Cotts going to get a breather and Stackhouse checks back into the game with 109 on the clock. Knights up 45 to 24. Knights go to press in the backcourt. Morgan gets the ball. O'Shea reads it though. O'Shea hustling back. Forces the pass a little bit long. And that's a turnover on Vernon with 102 on the clock. Stackhouse brings the ball up. Dishes it to Carabella. Carabella back to Stackhouse. Stackhouse over to Morin. Morin inside to O'Shea. Morin's pass is off the mark. Turnover on the Knights. Knights got to dig in on defense. They have a 21 point lead. There's open three. It's an air ball. Carabello has it. Carabello has Morin wide open, but 11 hustles back. Carabello with the no look. It's a good pass, and Morin with the contact. Morin. Gets the assist from Carabello, and Morin will go to the line for the and one with a 47 to 24 lead and 33.7 on the clock.
And his money. Warren gives the Knights a 48 to 24 lead. Warren almost comes up with the steal. And that will be a turnover as Billy Warren forces a turnover. Vernon having a hard time dealing with the pressure by the Knights. Turning the ball over as Carabello walks this way with sweat dripping from his sternum. He goes back, takes the inbound from Stackhouse. 26 seconds to go in the half. 48-24, Knights in the lead. This first half is maybe their most complete effort of the season. Carabello into O'Shea. O'Shea is money. Carabello with another assist. That's three or four for Carabello. 23 drives at the buzzer, no good. 50 to 24 at the half. As Knights, with their most complete effort of the season, their best half since the second half against Pope John. We go, as we found an outlet, let's pan right and see that. Lord have faith, there is an outlet and we will charge the battery.